Not at all. Uh, if people are severely overweight, they could fast for up to 300 days without any problems. So that that has well established. That's the world record in terms of fasting. So basically, there are two states in our me two metabolic states that humans have. The one is the high carbohydrate state in which you eat lots of carbohydrates. Your blood insulin concentrations are high. Your glucose is high. Your ketone bodies are low. And in that state, you are burning carbohydrates and storing fat. And that, unfortunately, is a state that we've reached in, in most people in the Western world. Because we're eating intermittently every three to six hours and causing our insulins to rise. And so we become carbohydrate burners. And what we're realizing is that is a very unhealthy state. In contrast, the, the low carbohydrate state is when your blood glucose levels are normal or low, your insulin levels are low, your ketone bodies are high, and you are burning fat. So all the fat that you eat is burned. And any excess carbohydrate that you take in is burned either as carbohydrate or is burned as fat. So that is the fasting state. And it's absolute clear that people who fast for some time each day are substantially more healthy than people who are eating lots of carbohydrates and calories all the time every day. There's absolutely no question about that. If you want to be healthy for life, you want to be in the low carbohydrate, low glucose, low insulin, ketogenic state. That is how humans evolved. We evolved as hunters who would catch our prey, we would eat it, and then we would fast until we caught another animal. We didn't have grains to fall back on. Grains only became into the diet 18,000 years ago. Fruits and vegetables come into the diet 10,000 years ago. But humans have been on this pathway for 4 million years. So we've got millions of years of living as fasted animals. And only more recently have we started becoming the opposite animals that are always satiated, always eating. So to say that fasting is dangerous is simply not, it's ridiculous because that's, that's how we evolved. And if we take people who are metabolically unhealthy, in other words, they have lots of carbohydrates in their diets, lots of calories, their insulin levels are high, and we start fasting them and putting them on low carbohydrate diets, their health improves immeasurably. So I would argue that the dangerous state is not the fasted state, it's the other state. It's the state in which you're always eating. That is the dangerous state that is killing people.